Hello, my name is Steve Alf and welcome back to Alf Books. Today I'm here for a wrap-up video. I will wrap up the first five books that I read in 2017. This is a new format that I want to play around with and see how well it works. Basically, every time I do one of these videos, I'll be looking at five books. So this is going to be the first five, the next video of this series will be the next five and so on for the whole year. Now on to the books that I read so far. The first book I read was The Fate of Ten by Pitagus Lore. This is the sixth out of seven books in the Lorian Legacies series. If you don't know this series, the first book is called I Am Number Four. They also made a film out of it. And, well, what is the series about? Basically, there's this little group of aliens from a planet called Lorian who escaped because their home planet was attacked and destroyed by the Mogadorians, another alien species. They come to Earth where they hide from these aliens and develop their powers. The Mogadorians, or Mogs for short, are aware of this and have come to find them and kill them here on Earth. That's where the series starts. It's an interesting series, but I noticed one thing while reading this. I've gotten slightly older and it's not really what I want to read anymore. This book is very much like an action movie. It's action after action after action after action and I not the biggest fan of action movies so it's not my favorite book and I've noticed probably because I've just grown out of this type of book slightly that I mean I want to finish the series I will finish the series but I might not pick up another series in the same type for a while so the next book I read was D'un monde à l'autre in the La Quête de Villane series by Pierre Bottero this is a reread this is the fifth time that I read this book and it's interesting because I've picked up one or two things that I hadn't picked up previously when I read the book. This book unfortunately does not exist in English. I've looked for it and haven't found it. I have found it in German though, if that helps anyone out there who doesn't speak French. French obviously being the original, I would recommend reading in French. I've mentioned this book before on my channel. It's a book that I really hold close to my heart. It is one of the books and the author, Pierre Bottero specifically, is one of the authors that has driven me towards not just reading a lot more fantasy, but also writing. And so, yeah, I really love this book very much. At the very beginning of this book, the main character, Camille, ends up stumbling from our world to the other world as a truck in our world is racing at her in the street. She just vanishes and appears in the other world, in a forest, where a knight is fighting one of the Tzlish, which is an species that exist in this parallel world who are trying to control and destroy the humans in that world. While observing this fight, the Tzlish pays attention to her and what you find out is that the Tzlish have been looking for her and have not been able to find her. And now that she's appeared, they know how to find her from that point onwards. Now that they know where she is, it makes it a lot harder for her to hide. She didn't know about this, this parallel world, but as the story goes on, she finds out more about how this world works and how their a sort of magic system works and how she is extremely talented in this specific type of magic. So it's pretty cool and I really love this series so much really short to read as well. It's only about 280 pages, if I remember correctly. The next book that I finished reading was The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is the first time I read this book. I found it quite interesting. I had seen the film before I read the book, but it didn't take away from the enjoyment of it. I liked the way it went about it. I liked the story the, to a certain extent. I didn't like the characters. The characters aren't likeable. They're they're not meant to be liked, I guess, as well. That's maybe probably the point. The characters in this are just, yeah, yeah. They're so self-centered and care only about themselves and their own happiness and their own gain. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what the author wants you to get from it, or at least that's what I got from it. The next book was George's Marvelous Medicine by Roald Dahl. I actually listened to this and I will be leaving a link in the description to the YouTube video that I watched because the acting in it by the narrator is actually hilarious to watch. It is so much fun. 
I will also put a card with the link so that should pop up now. It is really fun to watch and listen to and I definitely recommend it if you know the story or not. Basically George has this terrible grandmother and he is sick of her and plans on making a medicine to make her blow up or you know at least something make her, make her less annoying in some sense so yeah that's basically the gist of it it is really fun i'd never read it before and i'm happy i did roald dahl is so amazing the next book i read was the name of the wind by patrick rothfuss this is the first book in the king killer chronicle series and yes i have mentioned this book before this is the third time i read this book I really enjoyed it. I picked up new things again, things I missed in previous readings, and for those who don't know, basically this book is about Quoth, the main character, who tells his story to a chronicler. So the story is kind of in two parts. There's the part where he's telling the story, which is he's telling it from what would be present day in the book, and we know then basically he survived the events because he's in the future, right? <laughs> so, he's telling the story to a chronicler. He himself in the world is seen as a myth, someone who may have existed, but more and more people think he never existed. And also they believe that if he did exist, he died. Kvothe is a musician. He's someone who's passionate about learning and also very, very smart. And we find out more and more about him and what drives him throughout this book and why he became who other people see him as, why there's so many stories about him. And it's really interesting to read. I definitely recommend this book. This book and the sequel, The Wise Man's Fear, are absolutely great. I will be picking up The Wise Man's Fear to read that as well sometime later this year because I really want to just read that completely again and see if there's more stuff that I missed. So those are the five books that I read so far this year. I hope you thought what I said was interesting. Let me know what you thought, if there was anything that you thought I left out that I should have added in. Maybe more information about the characters or whatever you think that I should have said more about. That would be really interesting. To finish off this video, I would like to do something new. I am going to start doing shout outs every so often in videos because I would like to say thank you to those who subscribe to my channel and just, yeah, I think it'd be cool. So the person I will be shouting out this week is StoryNut. StoryNut does some really good discussion videos. So I would recommend checking out her channel. I'll be leaving a link in the description. I hope you have a fantastic week. That's all from me. Bye.